putting a stop to gun deaths through education and support. That's how one group's attacking the problem of violence in their community by remembering the victims. All new at 10, Fox 28 Shelby Robert joins us live from Wells Park where people in Savannah are taking a stand. Shelby? Rain, thunder, and even lightning couldn't stop dozens of people from coming out here to spread their message of hope in the midst of sorrow. Many of them experiencing sadness after losing loved ones too soon. And their message now is they've had enough of gun violence in Savannah. I'm fed up with violence and gun violence in our community. Um, our citizens are fed up with it. Today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day and supporters came decked out in orange at today's community picnic. This orange meetup is one of many taking place around the nation. A Georgia organizer tells me the purpose isn't political. It's more of a reflection of lives lost to gun violence. Here in Savannah, gun crime numbers are reaching record levels and people are standing together to fight back. Every other day I turn on the TV, there is either gunshot fire. I'm not gunshot fire, somebody has been hit. If nobody has been hit, somebody has been killed by gun violence, and it's, it's too much. People at today's picnic say there's a ripple effect with gun violence. Crime, until it hits your front door, a lot of people don't think that it involves them. But we don't just talk a good talk, we walk a good walk. Because everybody in the community, as a family, we need to try to find a way to work together. And this is one of the first steps. Savannah City leaders also came together to show their support. Alderman Van Johnson says just waiting for a solution is no longer an option. Um, not only is, is violence and gun violence not acceptable, but we're willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, to ensure that um, gun violence is non-existent here in Savannah. Coming up at 1030, I'll share how this event remembered the life of a young man that was shot and killed after gun violence. His family shares that tragic story. Reporting live in downtown Savannah, Shelby Roberts, Fox 28 News at 10. All right, thanks, Shelby. Tonight, one Savannah community is wrapping up their picnic with a purpose, raising awareness for gun violence. Fox 28 Shelby Roberts talked with parents who lost their children to gun violence, and one family shares the impact their son's death is having on the community. Shelby? Emotions were high at today's orange meetup, as it's being called. For one family in particular, they were remembering the lost life of their son. And a new peace initiative is working to, mem to remember his life in a decorative way. James Pasturas, better known as Jay to family and friends, was shot and killed back in 2015. He was only 34 years old. The suspects in that case were caught, but the family says they don't know if they'll ever feel closure, but a new peace poll in Jay's honor does help. The Savannah Peace Initiative was started earlier this year. The founder says the group's purpose is to paint polls to remember the lost lives of Savannah people lost to gun violence. Not only do the markers provide awareness, they also show support for the surviving families. He's not forgotten. There's, there's people out here that's caring about him. He will always be in our hearts, always be in our hearts and our minds. Spoke with multiple people at today's community picnic, many of them parents or older family members suffering with the loss of a younger child. Now they told me it never gets easier, but having events like the Orange Meetup and having community support really do help. Reporting live in downtown Savannah, I'm Shelby Roberts, Fox 28 News at 10. All right, thanks Shelby.